Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Oopta Premium. And in this, in this week's episode, we are going to go over uh, what can and can't go wrong with the Oopta Grande. Uh, you know, on the surface of it, it seems like the Oopta Grande is an investment that's well worth your time because in the long run, uh, things are going to pay off for you with a whopping 50 points if you complete uh, your objective. Well, I've discovered uh, with recent games that uh, it's not always the case that uh, going after the Oofta Grande is worth it. And that, in fact, you may be eroding uh, opportunities that come your way by uh, channeling all your energies into an Oofta Grande and maybe ignoring opportunities uh, just to increase your wealth and your, your status in the game. And so uh, we're just going to demonstrate this to, uh, in this particular game. Uh, we're going to have a control variable, or, or I mean, I'm sorry, a control group. And the control group is uh, that gr grower A, which is me, is uh, going to go after the Oop de Grande. Um, and then grower B is going to play a, a regular game. And, uh, Grower C, I think, is going to do the same thing. So we're basically going to figure out uh, who comes out ahead, the person who goes after the Oop de Grande aggressively, or the person who, the person who uh, kind of ignores it, or the person who thinks about it and makes uh, here and there choices. That would probably be player C. So, OK, so let's see where we're at. Let's go ahead and start rolling. We'll try to kind of speed through this so that the play test is worth our while. Okay, so what do we have here? Start off the bat with the fender duel. Alright, so already player A, uh, we, we have a crop grown that's not on the right field. So that already tells us, okay, so we're not going to be aggressive going after that. Radishes. This grower likewise doesn't have it. So we have just harvest as usual. Maybe we'll just let the game decide who is going after which objective and then adapt to it. Can the chart and spin again. Okay, so grower C then is going to be our, our uh, brave person who uh, goes after the Oop de Grande. Not to be confused with the movie Brave, which I think made a lot of money. <laughs> okay, so. Evan Gamble, not gonna gamble. Two corn stays put. Move the carrots down. Move the carrots down. Make sure it's a uh, positive. I'm, I'm sorry, you're creating a negative experience for our opponents. So here's a one. Ones are not obeyed at the beginning of the game. Have a gamble. No. Carrots. Okay. Yeah, speed ooped is not something I'd really recommend, <laughs> but uh, we're just doing that for our purposes here. Round. 
two again. Move that spinach on down, as the old song goes. <laughs> so here's a one. Five. All right. So spinach on spinach. So here's an early case where going after the Ufta, Ufta Grande, you know, we've got spinach that got knocked all the way down to a very low spot. Two plus three is five. Only five tokens to show for it. Can we make up the difference in the harvest uh, later in the game? You know, if you're lacking material advantages at the beginning of Ufta, that could be a serious drawback, right, to your uh, goals, motivations, plans, and ambitions. So, we shall see. Cultivate and harvest. Corn on the wrong one. It's worth 12. See, here's a case where we scored the highest amount by ignoring the Ufta Grande possibilities and just growing the, uh, the, the highest value crop on the right spot. Okay. We start at the game. Okay, so here's a one. Gamble. By productive. It's carrots, corn, beans, radishes. Carrots. Just some carrots again. More productive. Carrots. Our spinach and radishes. Okay. So again, just to be clear, uh, player C is committed to the Coupe de Grande, player A is ignores it, player B is situational. So they'll go for it if it seems likely. So far, it isn't likely for them. So. Okay, so we have another action. So they're doing really well so far. Uh, our Ufta Grande Aspire is uh, looking looking pretty good. Carrots. Broccoli. 
Radish. Carrots. Why don't we move those back into plates? See if we can't grab some more carrots. Four. Okay. I think this goes right there. Peas, potatoes, and squash. This governor gets a, a penny. Peas, potatoes, squash. Grab some potatoes. So a very good start. We're liking this. We're not loving it though, that's copyright. <laughs> okay, so here's radishes. Yeah, if you'll notice, Oopta tries hard not to have any branding. We're not here to name drop brands. If we can help it. We may not be able to help it, though. There's just too much money in doing that. Two radishes. everything. And we're going to do squash and beans. Are Those are all terrible. <laughs> so we'll go with corn. Always a nice bet, you know, it's the top spot, the top crop in the top spot. Potatoes, potatoes. potatoes on potatoes is 13 tokens. This game should also give us the opportunity to try out uh, more more attempts at the uh, wildcard crop, right? If we're savvy and think about it, okay. So before I go on, there's a there's an important aspect of gameplay that always is forgotten, <laughs> at least by me. I always forget to do it. So this time I'm going to change my ways, and that is I'm going to put money down as a fart and schnoodle on corn. So uh, in case they harvest that, it's going to be pretty awesome. I'll get to score twice what I put down. Let's see what happens. Ah, yes. OK, a successful harvest coming in. Corn on corn action. This person gets double their carton schnoodle amount. It goes like that. This person over here is corn on corn, so they get 15 big tokens. Two tokens of which goes to charity. And that's going to be... who is that going to be? I think they collect their own charity. Nice. That's the way to do that. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Okay, so here's... Okay, so far it looks pretty good. Uh, Grower C is well on their way. Uh, 
the very good harvests. Each of those are harvested correctly, which means it gives me a road map for uh, what to do as of this turn. Cucumber Kempi's radish is charred. Tomatoes and carrots. Who's productive? This is a sabotage. It's not going to happen. Instead, what are we going to do? We've got charred. Charred. More productive. More productive. Fourth quadrant. If I go in the fourth quadrant, and then we've got corn, beans, and radishes. Got radishes for sure. One token goes to the disc owner. And this goes like this. going to protect those radishes. Okay, so here's potatoes and carrots. There's a two. Yes, my another card. Whether or not that's a mistake, I don't know. I'm not quite savvy enough. You gotta <laughs> probably need a strong handle on mathematics to figure out the probabilities. Uh, rate of return. Turn on investment, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, so here we go. Two. I'll buy a card too. Potent card. Uh oh, here's a one. Turn all crops to wake you, so I can think of worse things. Charred. Yeah, unfortunately, we live in a world where, uh, yeah, anybody can think of the worst thing. Few people can think of the good positive things, right? You know, because positive stuff doesn't make money. <laughs> Only negative stuff. Okay. Potatoes, carrots, corn, and beans. Okay, so here's a six sabotage. We got peas, potatoes, squash, potatoes. This and this. Potatoes and potatoes. And he's walking 13 tokens. Beans. I don't know what they'll do with those beans. More productive. Charred on charred is uh, 11. 11 big ones. Carrots, cucumbers, radishes, radishes, plants, radishes. That's all we can do. Well, that's not all we can do. We could make a purchase. But I think uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Four productive. Beans, no good. Looks like it's going to be corn again. Now notice how, here's a, a nice time out. The, uh, I'm planting corn, but I'm planting it on a different field. And so I'm having the hopes of maybe 
growing corn on all four fields, which if you remember uh, our video on the crop cartels, uh, that's going to guarantee me an extra 20 points by game 10 if I accomplish the goal. So We shall see what happens. Stay tuned. Keep the card it's very close, very close to the turning of the seasons. I haven't gambled, I'll gamble again. Uh, productive. Cultivate and harvest. Radish is on the wrong one, it's 11. Okay, um, let's go no. to the next one. Six is a sabotage. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to cultivate and harvest some corn. Corn on the wrong spot is 12. Person. Oh, look at this. Ten tokens. Nice. So notice how even if you do a deep analytical stuff in Ufta, there's a good chance that uh, the a few random bits in the game, such as the uh, collect ten hunger tokens card uh, and other things, other sort of uh, behind the scenes, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? behind the scenes maneuvering uh, those those additional factors help keep things uh, fresh and unique and varied right and so that's of course what that's the magic ingredient that's what we want have a gamble gamble right. okay I'm going to turn these three beans this is my grand goal for this particular grower. Since the uh, grand, the oof de grande is not going to be a possibility in this corner, instead I'll just go for crop cartels or four of a kind. With the, uh, you know, with the, the hopes of acquiring the fifth crop, right? Okay, so here's, I've got four beans. Four beans is going to be turning into... two others from the bag at random. Again, I'm pretty much pro buying cards, but I just don't know. I don't know if in the long run it's worth it or not. Because anything can happen in Uka. You could use the cards, you may lose money using the cards. I don't know. There's there's a lot to figure out. Upta hasn't been played uh, by millions of people yet, and so there's a lot to explore. It's a big game then. A lot, a lot to try to cover. Okay, here's a one. Okay. Productive. We've got chard. We've got radishes. Radishes. Planting and cultivating. Okay, cucumbers goes to kale, Five. radishes, 
All right, so this grower is also employing the same trick as this one. They're gonna to try to grow for the crop cartel, which is unlike the Oupe de Grande, which is a, a huge lofty goal. Crop cartels are a nice medium range goal. I wouldn't call them short term, but I would just say in the medium game, that's where, uh, that's where they pay off. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, we just, uh, we just did the season, so I forgot to replenish. Everybody scored big on the season, so that's good. Set our gamble tokens. Okay, so we got a two. And we're gonna liquidate. Gonna play some corn. Oh no, we rolled a two. So we're gonna move the rat. We can't remove the radishes down. Okay, four, got a one, we've got radishes, on radishes, which is uh, 14 tokens. Fourteen tokens. Put this over. So there's a case where, you know, if you're really savvy with Ufta, many times I am not. The uh, opportunity there to cover ourselves with uh, crop insurance at the 20 token range is something we should have been alert to. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking for three people and I'm not very good at that. Uh, I just couldn't, uh, couldn't come up with that plan early enough. So that's going to bite me in the end. So here's a six. Now we're going to plant our four. Notice how I haven't made any purchases really from the resource shop. That may be folly too. That's another. <laughs> that's another aspect of gameplay that I'm not sure about. You know, uh, testing the boundaries and the parameters of the game means uh, not being exactly sure what can and can't be done what should and shouldn't be done. Okay, so here goes. Ready to plant. Carrots would be nice. Peas would be excellent. So which one has peas? This is where my memory is tested. I don't have a great memory at all. And uh, this one, this particular aspect of gameplay tests you because uh, you're grouping the crops in a different fashion from the growing season order that you find, right? Um, I'm thinking, yep, this time I was right. So yeah, um, Oofta tests you in many, many different aspects. Cognitive function, social engagement, uh, feelings, emotions, you name it. Uh, yeah. Gambling, I don't know what to do with the gamble. Here's a one. Remove two crops. Ouch. 
lost that corn. I, I paid good money for that corn, you know. I turned in my three beans, so that was a bad trade by me. Gambling, yeah, I'll gamble. Okay, yeah, all the harvest peas. Peas on peas action is 12 tokens. Cowpeas, broccoli, goes to radishes. One. Nope. Five. Good. All right. So we lost our corn. That's a that's a big deal. That's a pretty big deal. And so now we're kind of stuck. All right, so you can kind of see so far, we've got a pretty good strategy uh, for Grower C. Pretty good opportunities for Grower C to try to complete that Upe Grande, but they may have to resort to that wild card crop. Uh, wild card crop strategy later. Okay, so here we have radishes. Chart. Okay, four is outstanding. It's going to be chart. Okay. This grower really needs to think about some crop insurance, right? Okay, so here's a six sabotage. Uh oh. I think they're gonna do it. They're gonna get rid of both chard and chard. Which means it'll bump up twice. We'll pay for a card. Use product. Gambling is not going to happen. If you can look at these potatoes, some carrots. I haven't gambled. I'm not going to gamble. It's a three. Under the leaves. Okay, three, five, two back, three in the cup. Peas on peas is uh, 12. Scoring, peas on peas. I'm flipping this over. Beans. Gambling is not going to happen. Keep them with potatoes, carrots, corn, and beans. Six sabotage. 
cultivate the harvest. He's on the wrong one. It's 10 tokens. another card. Well, yeah, I guess we will. Because, uh, you know, if you're not farming, then you need to be banking. And that's what this is. So, that's a nice card. Okay, so now we'll liquidate off of here. We can't. Need some fives. Okay, cucumber, corn, uh, potatoes, carrots, corn, and beans, spinach, and squash. Six sabotage. You got cultivate and harvest. Two, four, six, eight. Carrots, one on the right one, spinach, carrots and spinach, spinach, that's five, so we got eight and five is 13, becomes 26, 20, five, six. It's one, collect and dump it. That's just a nice Christmas gift, you know, that keeps on giving. <laughs> okay, so here's a five. We have carrots. Oh, we got cow and spinach. Let's go with some carrots. Now, wait a minute. No. This is our, uh, this is our person we want to succeed. sabotaging these. Yeah, but I'd rather why don't I purchase the harvest one? We need to stay organized over here. <laughs> Things are getting a little out of hand. Okay, so here's a one. No. It's 
squash goes to cucumbers. And, you know, <laughs> cosmogonic life cycle, the universe starts over. And, uh, you know, we try again. We start over, start anew. Everybody makes mistakes and failures, failures and regrets. And so we look for the renewal of spring to guide us into the future. So we're on cucumbers. Six. Oh, we bought the first one. We're over here. Six is uh yeah, we'll just turn them all up. There's a two. Nope. Cucumbers goes to kale. Uh, I need to bump the cucumbers up. Alright. Here we go, gamble. It's not going to gamble. Three tokens in, so gambling does hurt you, you know. <laughs> That's probably no shock to somebody who has a gambling problem or addiction. But the, uh, you know, as long as you contain it, it's usually okay. It can add up though, right? Okay, so here we got this game. We've got this game. Just take a time now. Broccoli on broccoli, and that's a nine. Okay, 
Now the reason I'm getting rid of carrots here is because uh, I've already harvested carrots once. Right? Arrange this correctly. I harvested carrots carrots early in the game. So I might as well clear up the space for a crop that I haven't harvested that could go out and fulfill the Utagrande. So these by productive cultivate harvest two four six six. Okay, squash on squash, cucumbers on cucumbers, peas not on the right. Yeah, so it would be very impressive for player B here to uh, uh, be able to uh, complete, not the Uta Grande, but crop protests. We're pretty close because we made uh, a lot of radishes. Go ahead and liquidate it. Radishes we are. Definitely interested in radishes, so too productive. Just grab another cone. Okay. these broccoli radishes. Yes. All right, so we're just going to take a time out here, and we're going to look, and we're going to we're going to check and see what our scores are because, uh, you know, we've got Grower C over here who is totally consumed and focused on uh, scoring the uh, Upta Grande, but the Upta Grande is a, still a long ways off. You know, you got to have three uh, crops on each field for a total of 12. Right now they've only got, what, six. We're only halfway there. And the gain is more than, it's about three quarters of the way through. So that's a bad sign for them. They're not gonna get to score it. And then what have they scored in the meantime? Well, they've scored in an alternative fashion because Upta is uh, broad and opens up many possibilities. Um, they're scoring with their adversity cards. But if you look at their total, it's not that much. 90, 90 tokens there. And almost the majority of that is from these adversity effects. If you take that away, they've only got 42 tokens over there. Whereas Grower A, who has so far ignored the, uh, the Grande possibility, right? The Upta Grande possibility is being uh, dis uh, disregarded. And they've scored quite well. We've got 60, 70, 80, 90, 65, 66. We've got about 70 tokens here, plus crop insurance. And this sets into the 90 category. And that doesn't even include it over here. And then, of course, uh, Grower B over here is well on their way. Uh, they're only two things away from getting a crop cartel with the corn. But, you know, they've, they've done pretty well for themselves as well, scoring uh, many adversity cards. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5. They're looking at uh, about 65 se to 70 points. Okay? And so I think at this point you can even, you can see how it's a question mark whether or not uh, going after the Upta Grande is in your best interest. There are games where it may be, uh, your stars may be aligned and it is worth it. But there are plenty of, there's plenty of reason to think that sometimes going after that into grounding, even though it's a giant carrot on a stick, it may not be worth it, right? Anyway, so let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, on, on YouTube. And as always, thank you for playing, thank you for watching, thank you for sponsoring, thank you for <laughs> Uh, just pretty much everything. So uh, keep on playing Ufta, and until I see you next time, have a good day. Bye, everybody.